so hey guys welcome back to another video um and i have not really been uploading that much recently and i kind of wanted to change that and i i know i always keep saying you know i'll upload more i try to be more consistent but i don't know guys if i'll be able to commit to youtube that much right now so i don't really know but yeah anyways i'm starting this new series like this new series thing where i just do chill discussions with you guys it's called the chatterbox and in this we will just be discussing games you know and stuff like games maybe even movies who knows but it's gonna be mainly chill discussions and shit like that so we're gonna be so i'm gonna be like talk you know talking about video games that i like video games that i'm hyped for you know and video games that you know that are coming out and people are talking about and stuff and also about movies maybe talk about some mcu movies here and there talk about endgame um and yeah but this is the first episode of the chatterbox and like really in this episode i want to talk about you know da days gone because that game the more i see of it the more like not interested i am in it like it's not even it doesn't seem that interesting and really i mean days gone looks pretty mad to me to be honest and i don't know why it's just the first time i saw the game which was back what like et 2017 it seemed it had potential you know and it seemed great but the more i'm seeing of it the more bored i get because it's not really anything spectacular like like gameplay wise it's just the same shit like shooting down zombies and stuff and it just doesn't seem that appealing to me to be honest um and people who also played the game in the events are also not saying good stuff about it they're saying it's kind of boring and the gameplay is kind of off and stuff like that and even polygon i think talked about days gone and you know how it works and stuff and didn't really say impressive stuff about it so i don't really know what really I think of days gone of, as of yet because the game will literally come out like end of this month or something and um i don't know i might buy it i might play it who knows but it doesn't seem like that much of an appealing ps4 exclusive to me while i don't know what could happen with this because it could be the first ever sh like shit ps4 exclusive because usually ps4 exclusives are like really really good with games like last of us uncharted and stuff like that but Days Gone just doesn't give the same feeling to me to be honest and I don't know it just seems pretty mad to be honest like it has to like if it really if I really want to like the game like if the game is really good I might play it if people are saying it's good I might buy and play it but so far it looks pretty boring to me and I just hope the story is really good that really you know keeps me you know like keeps people uh, engaged to the game because the story we haven't really seen much of the story it's not much really it's just like him killing down zombies called freakers i think and uh, yeah well i don't know there's not much to it it's like i don't even know the main character's name to be honest uh but i hope the story is intriguing and engaging uh the gameplay to me looks pretty like classic third person shooters um there's nothing much new to it to be honest it's it's obviously very similar to last of us in terms of you know game in terms of feels and stuff with you know you're killing zombies and shit but maybe that's the reason maybe because i already played last of us and it looks incredibly similar to last of us that's why i'm like having like not really impressed by it because it doesn't really seem that much of an impressive game like with more i see of it with the new footage and gameplay and the graphics also look a little off for some reason like it's it's kind of weird to be honest the graphics look a bit more downgraded than they were in et 2017 like especially with the latest trailers you can really see that and it's it's a bit weird to be honest and i don't know what to make of days gone really it seems like a very bland game so far from what i've seen of it and rest of the people who have actually played the game in events and stuff like that uh also have the same thing to say really there's nothing much to it uh they say the controls are also a little confusing if i heard that correctly I, if i'm wrong guys you can correct me down in the comments but i think there was one criticism that the like the controls were a little bit confusing 
uh, from one of the players who play in my event. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know, like, really where these criticisms come from. I just am aware that, you know, like, these criticisms are there regarding the game. But the game looks pretty boring to me. Like, it doesn't seem quality. I just hope it's... The story is really good. Like, the story just keeps... The characters, the story are good. So far, I don't even know even know what to make of the main character. Because he just seems like a biker dude. He just, uh, you know, just goes with his... Saves his friends from zombies and shit or freakers. And I think he also has a wife or something in one of the trailers. I'm not sure if it's his wife or his fiance. I have no idea. But really i don't really know what to make out of this game story yet but hopefully it's a good one you know and i hopefully just i hope this doesn't go, go down as the worst ps4 exclusive because ps4 as sony has been killing it lately with ps4 exclusives and i hope days gone doesn't let people down um and yeah like you know recently sony did the state of play stuff which was a huge failure the first episode at least which is kind of like more like nintendo direct or something like that and it was a huge fail because there were not really new games released and shit there was some days gone footage but that was not really that intriguing and there was just vr shit in there and people seem to be really pissed off at that so sony has really not been uh killing it this year so far um i mean obviously it's just april uh, and they're not gonna be in e3 anyway so i don't know about the other exclusives like last of us and ghosts and death stranding when are they gonna get their release days when they're gonna get released but days gone it's pretty much i don't know if i'll pick it up or play it if people say really good stuff about it in reviews and stuff i'll definitely pick it up and uh, yeah but so far days gone just does is not doing it for me it doesn't look that intriguing and interesting it just seems another one of those third person shooter zombie games and I'd rather play Last of Us. I mean, Last of Us obviously is obviously is leagues better than Days Gone. But who knows? Days Gone might actually be good and surprise people. Because the uh, same kind of people say with Horizon Zero Dawn. That in the beginning of Horizon Zero Dawn, people were not really that excited for Horizon Zero Dawn. And they were like, yeah, it looks pretty okay. Good. Like, it's, it's just a new ps exclusive you know and it didn't have much expectations for it but when it came out it blew expectations out of the water literally it was so well received and became like one of the best games of 2017 and i really enjoyed horizon zero dawn so i hope the same happens happens with days gone and becomes the best game of this year but i don't know i'm not even sure if it'll become best game of this year but i hope it's just a decent game to play you know because i really wish sony you know get more famous exclusive great exclusive and i hope this exclusive ps4 exclusive is really good as well just as the other ones and i hope it's good but so far it's i just don't feel that it seems like a really promising game to be honest with you and yeah but anyways i guess that should be it for this episode of the chatterbox uh that wasn't i don't know if that was a really big discussion or not but I tried talking for quite long to be honest and yeah but this new show is gonna be epic you know like with um, I'm gonna be talking about new stuff like video games movies maybe even TV shows since Game of Thrones season 8 coming out, coming out and stuff there's a lot of shit happening this month so I'll definitely keep making more chatterbox videos in the future um, and yeah I probably might do something like uh, before Game of Thrones season 8 comes out I might talk about it a bit more but I'm not sure, but it's gonna be epic, and I'm, it's gonna be amazing, and uh, yeah, but hope you guys enjoyed this Chatterbox, the first episode of Chatterbox, and hope you guys will enjoy this series, because this is something new I'm trying out, hopefully it works out, and uh, gives me more revenue, not, not revenue, I don't even have enough subscribers for revenue, but hopefully I get more views and subs from this, but hopefully... Let's see for the best. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this char this episode of Chatterbox. And I'll see you in the next one. So, yeah. Bye.